through, we're going to go ahead and uh, add categories to our models. Now, if you remember back uh, when we first did models, I said it's probably a good idea to draw out how you want your models to look, uh, or at least have an idea. Well, in today's lesson, we're going to go ahead and see what happens when you don't draw it out. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, I was anticipating this, and this is a good, a good learning experience because uh, this is probably not the order that you'd work in, the order that we're doing right now, uh, by creating a post and then doing everything and then coming back and then going, oh, I need a category. So it'd be a good idea to say, before you even start writing your models, hey, my posts are going to need categories and my, uh, you know, and whatever else you're adding into your model so you don't have to do extra steps. So let's go ahead and first add our uh, category model. And what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new class above the post. And we're going to call it class or capital category. All right, and it's models dot model capital model. All right, so in here we're going to add now add our um, new model. So what we'll do here is we'll name our category. So we can say we can give it name. All right, and then we're going to do models dot char field. And if you remember correctly, char field takes one uh, required argument, and that's max length. So max length. And we'll just set that to 250. And, uh, yeah, that's all that needs. And then we'll do slug again, because um, we want to do slug because we want to also be able to query our categories and list out all our uh, posts in the category. So it would be... Uh, smart to have a slug so we can throw that into the URL. So let's go ahead and just do models.slug field. And um, this doesn't take a required argument, but it will default to 50. So let's go ahead and just give it a max length of 250 because we're going to want that to max uh, match our name. So 250. And then I'm going to put unique is equal to true. All right. So we'll go ahead and save that. Then we're going to put a subclass with meta down here because uh, we haven't seen this yet. And what we can do here is uh, we can specify the ordering. We can also specify how the name is displayed. So let's just do uh, ordering. All right. And we're going to put um, this in a tuple. And we're going to say name. So we want, we want to order it by name, like in alphabetical order. So that's what that does. And then we're going to do a uh, robust name. All right. And we'll call it category. So if it's singular, it's category. And then we'll do robust name again. And then underscore plural. And this time we'll do categories. So if it's multiple category, it will be spelled as are shown as categories all right and then we need to define our human readable version of this so go one more down function two underscores str two underscores uh, parentheses and then we'll do self and down here we'll return name uh, self dot name all right Let's change this comment to, we'll just call it post. That may confuse some people, and then we'll call this category. All right. So now we have this set. Um, now we have to tie uh, category or tie post in the category because it's going to be a um, uh, one to many, or you're going to have. Many posts per category. So we're going to use foreign key. So um, one category for many posts. So we'll use a foreign key in here. So we'll call this uh, category. And then we'll equal, that's not how you spell category, category. And then models dot foreign field, foreign key, I'm sorry. And we'll put category in here. All right. So now we tied post into categories. 
All right. Um, so that's pretty much how we create categories for our posts. But now we're going to have an issue. And um, after we create a model, we always need to migrate it to the database. So let's go ahead and before we actually do that, I just thought of something. Let's make this unique as well. Well, actually, let's go ahead and migrate it first and see what happens. And then we'll make this unique and then we'll do it properly. So go ahead and kill your server. Control C. And let's go ahead and do Python 3 manage.py make migrations. And we're going to get provide a one off. All right. So that means, hey, we don't have a category set for any of your posts. So you need to provide a one off, or we can quit and create a default. Okay. Um, Mm, we'll do quit. All right. Well, I don't know what at the moment what I want our default categories to be. I really don't want a default category. And I don't want to provide a one off, which would be kind of like a default because I want each category to be set up properly with the post. Now, this is in development, so this doesn't really matter. So if you wanted to, you could provide a one off um, and it would provide a. Um, a category to each uh, post but eh, I don't know if I want to do that so let's go back in here and under slug field let's go ahead and make this unique first off and the reason I'm making this unique is because I should have done it in the first place is since we're basing our URLs off this if we have two um, posts with the same slug then we, we may not be able to access our uh, post because then we have two posts with the same slug that, that may not work. So we want to make this unique. Now, second off, since we ran into this issue here, um, we have two options, we, or three options. We could provide a one-off, we could set a default value, or we could just destroy the database and start all over. Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to destroy the database and start all over. And you're going to do this quite often. Um, you know, it, Django tries really hard to... Um, make sure you don't have to do this but since this is a tutorial series and I want to show you what how to go about doing this and the steps of doing it we're gonna do it this way and we would have avoided this avoided this all along if we drew out our database or created our models correctly in the beginning so anyhow let's go into your text editor go to migrations right click on it and say delete folder delete and it deletes that folder and then come down to db.sqlite3 and right click on that and delete that all right so they're both gone now we don't have a database well now what do we do well it's pretty simple we just do python 3 manage.py make migrations all right so this is going to or set up our it's going to collect all the data and hold it until we migrate it. It says no changes made, so we'll do python3 manage.py migrate. And it's going to migrate and create our database for us. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so now we're looking at this, and we see that they created all these tables and whatnot and the migrations, but I don't see blog in here. Well, it didn't grab blog. So what do we do? We do... Python 3 manage.py make migrations blog like that. All right, now it's going to go and grab our model there. You see it's got create model category, create model post, and then we just do Python 3 manage.py migrate blog. All right, cool. So now we've created our database for our blog. Um, one other thing we have to do since we destroyed the um, database is we no longer have a super user. All right, so we now have to create a super user again. So we do Python 3 manage.py create super user, just like that. And it's gonna ask you to create a super user. Go ahead and do so. Oops. 
and all right so I created my super user now let's go to run the server Python 3 manage.py run server and go into your browser now we're going to have to create new posts again because they no longer exist. So we'll go in and go to our admin section. Actually, before we do that, let's go into the admin.py file and let's go ahead and create ourselves a, um, a admin section. We need to hook in the uh, category. So let's do that before we sign in and start playing with it because if this isn't there, it's pointless. So let's do class. Category, admin, admin, model admin, just like that. And we're going to do a list display of uh, name, and we'll do slug. That's really the only two data we have. And then we'll do uh, pre populated fields because I want. Uh, name to create the slug so we'll do name or we'll do slug and then we'll create a tuple that holds name just like this all right and now we got to hook it into the site using admin dot site dot register and then we'll do category and then category admin now we'll save it. Now we'll go into the admin section of our site. So admin, so log us in. Where we're gonna have to log in now since we <laughs> create a new super user. Log in. And now you can see we have categories and we got posts. So let's go ahead and create a new post. At the top you have category. What category is your post going to go into? Well, we don't have any right now, so we yeah, and click on this uh, plus symbol here. And this opened up outside the window, so we'll go ahead and we'll say um, tutorials. All right, just like that. Save that. And down here, we'll, this is a post. This is our content. This is a SEO title. This is a descript. And the author, well, do admin. And we'll set this published. Go ahead and save it. So now we have a post that is um, has a category. All right. So if we go back up here, I have that page open. Go to blog, hit return. Now we should still see our post from all the work we did recently. All right, there we go. We got there's our post. So what we did was created a category, <coughs> and now um, our post is now able to be in our categories, so we can organize our post via a category. Now we can only have one category for multiple posts. All right, now. Um, there's other ways to add more. We can add more categories by using many to many field, or we could uh, um, add subcategories. I thought that was a little bit uh, ahead of ourselves for now. So uh, I think one category for many posts is fine. So in the next tutorial, we'll create a view where if you want to go to a certain category, you can um, do so and see all the posts under that category. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't